This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Literally five minutes ago, the nice man from DPD has just dropped off uh, this uh, box here. And given the fact that it has Marshall and DSL on it, I think you probably know what's inside it. So let's get the box open. Go on, lad. Where are you? Okay, here we are then. It's all set up and out of the box. And um, I've been having a little bit of a play around with it um, the last hour or so. Uh, so just getting to know uh, what what kind of what the controls and everything do and, and what sort of it sounds it creates, uh, which I'm going to share with you now. Let's have a look at the front panel first of all. Uh, you've got um, the volume control for the classic gain channel and uh then over here we've got gain and volume for the ultra gain channel uh channel select button there to select between them you can either select via that button on the front of the amp there or via the supplied foot switch i say the supplied foot switch because it was supplied with this amp um when I was shopping around for it, um, a few of the retailers were sort of saying, you know, customers also bought and were showing the, the, the foot switch for this amp, implying that it was an optional extra. But I got this amp from PMT, Professional Music Technology, and the foot switch came with the amp. So if uh, you get one of these and it doesn't, ask why. Um, then moving on over to here, we've got the equalization section, treble, middle, and bass. That's for both channels. And uh, then, not a bad little sounding uh, digital reverb over here. Um, this tone shift button, we'll hear what that does uh, as we uh, demonstrate the sounds. But basically, it, uh, it makes the amp sound a little bit less British, a little bit more American. It scoops the mids and a bit of the high end out, um, really. That's, that's its function. It makes it sound a little bit boogie-ish, I guess you could say. Um, round the back, uh, I'm not going to kind of turn the amp round because I've got it all set up there but round the back you've got uh, an effects loop send and return you've got an auxiliary uh, in so that you can uh, input any source of uh, music that you so desire your phone, your mp3 player, whatever. You've got um, a speaker emulated recording output and you've also got a little button that takes you down from 1 watt to 0 0.1 of a watt for those occasions when one whole watt is just too darn loud. Um, as you can see here, I've got the amp mic'd up with uh, this little Behringer 906 microphone. Fantastic little mic, this. Um, I was sceptical about it at first. I was even more sceptical about my ability to you know, capture uh, the sound of an amp with a microphone because it is it is a bit of a, a dark art. But I found with this amp and this mic here, um, if I just place the mic pretty much in line with the double L at the end of the word Marshall, I do capture it, you know, um, to record the pretty much what I'm hearing in the room. So, um, let's have a quick run through the sounds then, starting on the classic gain channel. Um, the way I've dis I've discovered I like to run this is to have it absolutely dimed, uh, flat out, and if I go to the bridge humbucker, volume full on on the guitar this is the kind of noise it makes <laughs> which is a rather pleasing very martially kind of tone um Go to single coil mode, uh, maybe go to the neck pickup and back the guitar's volume off and... A really nice, responsive, vintage, clean tone there. Um, you know, that's 
maybe go to the uh, the middle pickup setting and you know you've got something that that will handle you know nice kind of cowboy chord strummy sort of stuff <laughs> As I say, very responsive. It's it's sort of like the old days when this was your clean and dirty uh, selector rather than having it on a pedal board somewhere. Um, so, you know, let's have a look at the other side of the amp. Uh, now let's just go to the ultra gain channel. Uh, as you can see, I've got the, uh, the gain about 12 o'clock and the volume similarly there. Treble, middle and bass all about 12 o'clock uh, as well. And uh, let's just play a few licks. <laughs> Yeah, that's um, it's characteristically martial, isn't it? It's but it's like a a, a boosted martial. It, in many ways, it reminds me of um, that sort of early to mid eighties new wave of British heavy metal kind of guitar tone. You know, where it was all Marshall JCM eight hundreds with uh, tube screamers uh, thrown into the front end of it. Uh, very again, very martially sort of sound. And on the subject of that, let's see what this tone shift button does that supposedly you know kind of makes it a little bit more american sounding let's see what that does <laughs> I've got to admit, it's not, it wouldn't be my first choice of tone to use, but it's, it's a good version of that tone. And there will always be, um, an occasion where it's just going to be that, that kind of thing that helps the sound sit into the mix just that little bit better in whatever you, whatever you're recording. Um, so, you know, I'm, gotta tell you, I'm really very impressed with it. It sounds a lot bigger than that eight inch speaker would um you know kind of make you think first impressions which is what this video is all about are really rather good um the other impression i'm, I'm getting is that um many years ago i used to have this amplifier's big brother the marshall 6101 uh 30th anniversary combo and um I remember that was absolutely gorgeous sounding amp, but it was so, so unreliable that I ended up um, getting rid of it and just going back to a, a solid state amplifier. Um, and that transition from a, a, a Marshall valve powered amplifier to, um, you know, a solid state, I think it was a PV or something like that. Um, it was a big, big difference in tone. Um, I've just don't, gone in the opposite direction. The amp I've been using, uh, for the last few weeks has been the, uh, the Moore SD30. Um, and what I would, what I did with that was just basically dial it into sound like a Marshall and then tape it all down and forget it. Um, so that's what kind of prompted me to think about actually just what I want to use in one sound. Why not get the amp that does that one sound? Anyway, the point is that having gone from solid state back to valves, the difference is less than um less than I remembered going in the opposite direction many years ago from valves to solid state. That little Moore amplifier does a really good job of getting close to this classic Marshall tone. Uh but you know, close, but this is closer because it is the real thing. Um I'm really loving that Ultra Gain channel. Um that is going to be start featuring in many, many recordings. 
and videos that um, I'm going to be putting out on the channel. This is probably going to be the test bed amp I use for um, all guitars that come through here and get uh, demoed, at least um, for, for part of the kind of process anyway. Um, it's just got that sort of plexi kind of goodness about it. Um, let me just have another little fiddle. So I'm on the bridge humbucker here, uh, guitar on the volume guitar, the guitar volume rather is uh, dialed back a bit and you know it's just got that sort of um, vintage classic rock bluesy goodness about it I think <laughs> Yeah, I am, as you can probably tell, very happy with my purchase. And um, I'll explore more tonal possibilities with it. I haven't really played with the EQ today. Uh, that's something I'm going to be, um, you know, fooling around with and uh, just experimenting with and getting to know the amp a little bit better. And I'll keep you posted on how that goes. You can expect to hear this amp in um, a fully mixed track at some point in the near future. And that is the video for today folks hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like while you're at it don't forget as always the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk music and guitars what i ask you is not to like about that fantastic way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.